we have seen in the first video an interview with Jean-Michel Roy, Airbus test pilot, who speaks about the general features of the A380. In this second video, we go into greater depth the cockpit functionality, the cabling and computerization of the plane, and a visit to the final assembly line. So, we have concentrated here in this cockpit the five main functions to fly an aircraft. First of all, to fly. When we are on the ground, to fly is actually to taxi. So we have here a camera, which reverts when we are in flight to a classic primary flight display. Similarly, to navigate, we have here an airport navigation map, the airplane, the different buildings, the taxiways, and when we are in the air, we revert towards a flight plan, classical uh, navigation display. As far as systems are concerned, we have here a window on our systems, and we can monitor the different systems here by the well-known and now electronic centralized alert monitoring system. To navigate also, we are using an interface, a new interface on our flight management system, where we will be able to enter the different points required for our flight plan with a very, very easy and natural interface for the people. With just a few clicks, we will be able to build up our flight plan. But now, for sure, the latest technology is the introduction on our electronic flight bag of all the aircraft documentation, all the performance programs for takeoff, landing, and as well, all the navigation charts. This is something which is quite efficient and save a lot of weight uh, if you look at the different uh, combination of bags that the pilots have to carry today, which are uh, quite uh, significant. By this technology, we have been able to save uh, several kilo, dozens of kilo, actually almost the weight of a passenger, which is, of course, is better to carry a passenger than to carry books. We're inside a test aircraft, which does not look like an airline-specified passenger aircraft. Mr. Roy will run us through what all these wires and cables are for. So this aircraft is a prototype aircraft. She's naked and she can show you more or less the uh, behind the scene uh, items. Some of these items are natural. I would say they are, they are on board of any airplanes, like the air conditioning pipes that you have here. But we also have on board some specific flight test equipment. For example, this uh, big uh, tanks that we have here, they, they are not designed to bring uh, wine on board, as uh, someone could think. Actually, we do put some water on board, the idea being to modify the weight of the aircraft as well as the center of gravity. We have big pipes and pumps allowing water transfer during the flight, which is interesting in order to flight test different points for the same weight with forward center of gravity or aft center of gravity. We also have a lot of uh, uh, wires which are orange because this aircraft is equipped with millions of sensors in the structure, the wing, the fuselage, but also in the engines and the system. And you can see these uh, orange wires, everything is concentrated in the computers that we have here in the back. They are transmitted in real time via telemetry to our flight test center here in Toulouse, where we are supported by ground staff or design office engineers who are analyzing in real time what we are doing in flight. They can then guide us, telling us if we are on the right track during the flight test or on the contrary, if we are reaching some limits which should require to stop the continuation of the flight. And these are the test computers, obviously. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Now, I think you should maybe take some time, if, if I may, to, to take some big, big spots here, because this is spe specific. So in our airplane, there is a brain, and the brain is a flight test engineer. 
and actually this is his uh, working station. From his station, he is able to monitor in real time all what is happening in the cockpit, plus many, many other parameters which have been uh, transmitted, which are displayed. Depending on the nature of the test, he will look at the electrical system, at the hydraulic system, or at the flight control system. This is really the center of command for the uh, flight test during uh, uh, our operations. visit the final assembly line of the A380. Our host for the day is Mr. Ricardo Spimpolo. Thank you for being here with us, uh, Ricardo. He is a member of the marketing department of the A380 project. Welcome to the final assembly line of the A380. If you follow me, I will show you how the chain works. Thank you very much. The final assembly line is, of course, the place where the various parts of the airplane are assembled. The most important part to begin with is the fuselage section preparation. The transport protection is removed and temporary lights, ventilation and protection mats are installed. The wings are equipped. They are equipped with moving control services and actuators, droop nose, slats, flaps, spoilers and ailerons. Two overhead cranes then lift the completed wings into station 40. Station 40 is the structural assembly. The three sections of the fuselage are put together. The wings are put to the fuselage and the section 19 backup structure is fitted. Then we fit the horizontal tailplane, the vertical tailplane and the tail cone. The wing components are fitted and the pylons, the landing gear, the wheels and the belly fairing. The systems are connected, air conditioning, hydraulics, water and waste, fuel and bleed air. And the cockpit furnishing structure is installed. The alignment of the three fuselage sections uses the laser assistant spatial positioning. Fuselage sections arrive with reference points attached. Accurate joining is possible with four laser tracker units that measure the positioning of the fuselage sections by the means of laser targets placed on fuselage sections and on the floor. Fuselage sections are attached in a manual operation. 10,000 bolts attach each of the fuselage joints. Wings are aligned using the LASP. The wings are also attached to the fuselage in a manual operation. Drilling templates are placed around the wings. Drilling units are electrically powered. They weigh 18 kilograms and are used with manipulator arms. 4,000 bolts attach each wing to the center wing box. Once the structural assembly is terminated, the aircraft passes to finishing and testing. Equipment and power plant is installed and connected. The air generation units, the cockpit oxygen, engines and the cells. The cockpit is furnished and the systems are tested. Electrical power, hydraulic power and air conditioning. The images we are now viewing refer to the first A380 destined for a private customer. His identity is of course protected for privacy concerns, but there is good reason to believe that he is resident in the Middle East. There is no doubt that this is the world's most exclusive business jet. The fully assembled plane goes outside for final tests. The fuel calibration, pressurization, engines, APU, radio and cargo doors. Then it goes to the flight line. There is an engine run, a rejected takeoff, aircraft weighing, the first flight 
And finally, it is ferried to Hamburg for cabin fitting. Our trip to the Airbus manufacturing facility finishes here. Many thanks to Airbus for allowing Avio News to film this fascinating testimonial.